Baltimore ceasefires embracing change with an end of an era live music show. Not only is a new name in the works, but a change in philosophy. The farewell party is packed with people associated with the Baltimore Ceasefire 365 mission and those who support it. It's a goodbye and a hello at the same time. So it's a goodbye to the history, the rich history that we've created over the last five years. And it's a hello to all of the possibilities for Baltimore. Earlier Saturday, Baltimore Ceasefire 365 visited the 4700 block of Garrison Boulevard. According to investigators, Around 2.30 Saturday morning, a 31-year-old man and a 27-year-old woman were each shot multiple times. Police say the man passed away. The woman is in stable condition. We join you in Ceasefire members burning sage and incense wanted to spread good vibrations on the spirit of the man killed. The circle of love pushed positive energy into the area where the shooting took place. We are here to pour love and light into this neighborhood and to bless the actual space where the incident happened. Baltimore ceasefire is three days long. The event happens four times a year. Organizers plea for everyone to put their weapons down. We need to be there for each other. The ones of us who are still here, we need to be loving on one another because the more people feel loved, the less likely it is that they feel the need to do something like this to anybody. Baltimore ceasefire is going through a transition. This weekend, they hope to come up with a new name. This just happens to be one of the t-shirts that we've already had, Be More Peaceful. Now, this is one of the names people have been suggesting. So we have a running list of ideas people have been giving us from all over the city. The group's message will change too. The new logo will be about peace, love, joy, and compassion. For Baltimore, we don't have to focus on being against violence, just for peace, right? Not paying attention to how much murder there is because there's way more peace every day in Baltimore than there is violence, and so that's what we're for. Baltimore Ceasefire is meeting over the weekend to choose a new name and logo, which could be revealed early next week. Reporting from downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.